Shalom, Shalom, Israel's brothers, Zaba. Y'all are coming back at you with another cold cut. I'd like to give our honor and glory and praise to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah. It's going to be a late night cold cut through the spirit, late night snack, as I call it. It's going into a quick cold cut on are you still doing this? And why are you still doing this? You're too grown for this. You know, you too, you're too old for this. Have you not learned from what happened to our fathers? Have you not learned from what happened to our foremothers? And when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about murmuring and complaining. You know, you don't look at the things the Lord gave you as an as an opportunity. You just look at those things and you scoff at it. I mean, you treat the most high like he's just your um like he's your servant instead of you being a servant of the Lord. You know, you ask the Lord for things and that's all you do. Is ask, ask, ask. And when you don't get what you want, you complain like a spoiled brat. The Lord hears that and it displeases the Lord. Let me go to the book of Numbers chapter 11 and verse 1. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord and the Lord heard it. Yeah, you think the Lord don't hear you? You think the Lord don't hear you smack your teeth? Man, I always got to go through this affliction. I always got to go through this. You know, I always got to go through something. Why is this always uh, that, uh, that? Why is this always happening to me, spirit? Why is this always happening to me? Brother, everybody's going through afflictions, man. Everybody uh, um, has something that's going on, sister, brother, you know. But when you start opening up your lips to the most, uh, uh, and you think you're just complaining or you think you're just letting off some steam, the most high hears these words and it displeases him because why are you murmuring when you deserve much, uh, uh, much, much worse? You deserved, and we always say, you deserve to be burnt with fire a long time ago. On many different occasions, and the Lord didn't do it. He actually gave you the knowledge of this truth. That should be that should be enough for you. On top of breathing, being able to walk, being able to see, have the seven senses, man. Talked about in Sarah, Shlach, your chapter 17. You have these things. You have these abilities. You have these gifts. But man still finds a way to complain uh, uh, against the Lord, man. To open up their mouth and murmur, right? And it says... And the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burnt among them and consumed them that were in the uttermost part of the camp. So guess what? Guess what the Lord does to complainers? He actually burn, he will burn you up. The Lord will kill this is a real this is not talking about a spiritual burn. No, the Lord killed these people that complained. Destroyed them, dead, gone. All foremothers and forefathers. How much more you? You can be in the midst of your complaining and the Lord just flip your car over. You can be in the midst of complaining and you get a call that your loved one just passed away uh, through some type of strange death that the Lord has conjured up through these spirits because he heard your complaining. So guess what? The Lord will make it much worse for you. Let me go to the book of Wisdom of Solomon chapter one. Complaining only makes it much, much worse. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon chapter one and verse number seven. For the spirit of the Lord filleth the world, and that which containeth all things have knowledge of the voice. So the Lord that contains all things, he has knowledge of the voice, right? Therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid, neither shall vengeance when it punisheth pass by him. For inquisition shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly, and the sound of his word shall come unto the Lord for the manifestation of his wicked deeds. So guess what? The Lord doesn't uh, not only know what you said. The Lord knows the sound of your voice. When, when, when your murmurings are presented before the Lord, the Lord, the Lord knows who you are. The Lord is not sitting up there going through a file cabinet of all the people that he made and trying to guess which voice was that so he can judge them. He's going through the he's just going through the files. When did, when did I make this voice? I thought I heard this last Thursday. No, the Lord knows exactly who you are that you're com murmuring, complaining to, man. And the Lord's vengeance is not going to pass by you. Right. And it says for uh, verse 10, for the ear of jealousy heareth all things and the noise of murmurings is not hid. See that the noise of murmurings is not hid. The Lord knows exactly what you're saying. He even knows what you're thinking before you say it. You got to understand that. Right. And it says verse 11, therefore, beware of murmuring, which is unprofitable. And refrain your voice from backbiting, for there is no word so secret that shall go for naught, and the mouth that belieth 
slave to soul. So there's no word so secret, man. The Lord hears every, he hears your thoughts. He hears your words. He hears uh, what you're saying, what you're going to say. The Lord hears all these things. It's unprofitable. Stop doing it. That's, oh, that's, that's the demonic spirit. That's a satanic spirit, right? We talk about idolatry and adultery and all, you know, fornication, all these, you know, and on the law, statutes, commandments that we have to keep. And if you break those things, those are, those are demonic things as well. You, you're moving in a demonic spirit when you're actively fornicating and committing adultery and doing all these different things. But when you're murmuring and you're complaining against the, the, the God that saved you, the God that protected you all your life, even when you didn't know him. All the time you thought it was you. You thought it was luck. You thought it was just, 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 I don't know. And the most High is protecting you every single day, every step of the way. He finally introduce, introduces you to him, brings you a part of this, you know, this congregation, like-minded brothers and sisters. And the first thing you do when you catch some affliction or you don't get what you want is you complain to the most High. That's evil. That's demonic. Let's get another precept. All right, let's go to Luke chapter six. Because if you're murmuring before the Lord and you're still doing this, it's been on your mind the whole time. This is Luke chapter six. And verse number, let's see what I want. 45. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. An evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. So when you hear somebody complaining, when you hear somebody murmuring, it started up here. It, it didn't just manifest. They've been meditating on it. They've been thinking about, uh, upon it, been dwelling on it. And guess what? Now, out of the mind, that's what, you, that's what you're going to speak. So it's already been up here. And guess what? You go to Ezekiel 11 to 5. The Lord knows every thought that goes into your mind. So beware of this and stop doing it. You're too old. You're too old to be complaining like a damn 10-year-old child, man. All right, Ezekiel 11 and 5. Shall, like, shall we not get good and evil? Didn't Job tell you that? All right, didn't start chapter 2 and verse 1 said, prepare thy soul for temptation. If you're murmuring, you're, you really didn't prepare your soul. You really didn't understand what you were getting yourself into, right? This is the book of Ezekiel 11 and 5. And the spirit of the Lord fell upon me and said unto me, speak, thus saith the Lord, thus have you said, O house of Israel, for I know the things that come into your mind, every one of them. So the Lord knows every single thought, every single, everything that come in your mind. And there's nothing so secret. There's nothing hid from Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. So you have to be careful. You have to be aware of what your tongue, of your tongue, because your tongue is a word of iniquity and that can kindle a fight. It's James chapter three and verse six. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our body, members that it defileth the whole body and setteth on fire the course of nature and is set on fire of hell. Your tongue, your mouth can defile your whole body. What you say can defile you. You can lose friends by what you say. You can gain friends by what you say. You can create, hey, you can give somebody damn motivation, help them do something, or you can tear people down. Hey, guess what? You can kill yourself with your tongue by murmuring against the Lord and saying something that you that, that you can't go back from. Just read Judges 11 and 35. He couldn't go back on what he said to the Most High. All right? And it says, this is how powerful your tongue is. Verse 7. For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and have been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is unruly evil full of deadly poison. That's why you have to put a, bo a, uh, a door and bar over thy mouth, as it says in Sirach chapter thir uh, 37, I believe. Right? Verse 21. You have to put a door and bar over thy mouth. Control what you say and control your mouth, especially when you want to say something so bad because you're going through afflictions and you're going through certain things that you may not want to go through right then and there. Something may have caught you off guard. You had a great plan. And next thing you know, something just diverted it. And now you sat back a little bit, man. Watch what, watch your mouth. Watch your thoughts. Understand everything's established by the Lord. Everything, your, your plans and what you think you have go, got going on, the Lord overrides that. 
The Lord can have that come into fruition, but the Lord overrides those things based off what he got it playing in gender from the beginning of time. And if you start murmuring because you want things that you, you know, you that may not be provided for you, then you have to check your spirit and examine your spirit, especially in these last days. With that, I like to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, right? I like to be the mighty strong, Shalom.